Hey there guys, this is Noki Starcraft here and I'm going to be doing some Starcraft 2, some Zerg here. So uh, this is going to be between Demaga and the little one, the little one. Oh, everybody loves the little one. Well anyways, uh, yes, um, yeah, I'm sure everyone loves Demaga as well, but uh, yeah, I just started singing a song anyways. So, it is going to be uh, TLO over here as the Zerg, uh, Blue Zerg down here. And the manga has the red zerg up here. It's actually quite a recent replay. Uh, it's not like super recent, but it is a little bit recent. So this is quite interesting seeing uh, the little one plays a zerg. Because he usually is a Terran. Uh, but he did play a zerg during uh, beta, I believe. I'm not quite sure. And I think he played a little bit during the game release. But he was basically has been a Terran player for a very long time. And yeah, so here is the manga just making some drones, and we're seeing drones from the little one here. So he's gonna scout, and he's not gonna find anyone, and the manga is also not gonna be finding anyone here either. So both players will be disappointed because there's gonna be nothing. But the manga is gonna send the overlord, and uh, the little one's just gonna send a drone because, as you can see, the overlord takes a thousand years to actually get there, whereas the drone takes, you know, a little bit of time 10 seconds and here he comes here he comes so I'll uh, be you should expect the visitor here and he is also gonna send a drone but uh, he just turned around there probably to kind of um, make sure that you know he can't really suggest what where it's, oh he just blocked the natural uh, expansion there I'm just I'm not, I'm not I don't know what I'm saying today but anyways so he is in fact annoying the guts of the demaga here trying to um, delay that expansion here but he might actually be able to kill this drone uh, here we go, here comes the expansion, so he was not able to stop it. And the spawning is being put down on the 14 mark. Uh, yes, so here we go, this drone is trying to run away. And we should be a gas deal? No, we're not taking a gas deal, but that is always a very popular thing to do. Here we go, he is going to go for the gas there. Um, yeah, and this overall is going to move here. So he is also going to get spawning, but his is almost done, as you can see, and uh, the manga is halfway so uh, the little one will be having faster zerlings out in time but uh, remember that the manga did get the early expansion here so it is quite uh, crucial there and uh, here comes the little one with some zerlings he is going to make some zerlings here just to kind of make him a little bit ahead in the military perspective but he is very behind in uh, economy well, actually, at the moment, uh, the market's gonna be ahead. Whoa, am I? Whoa, a beanling nest. Uh, that's something you don't see very often in, uh, pretty much anything, really. Except for Zerg versus Terran. You see that quite often in Zerg versus Terran. But the Zerg versus Zerg, you don't really see banelings that often. Unless, uh, you get the very beginning of the game. And, yeah, it's pretty much the only time you see banelings in Zerg versus Zerg. Uh, here we go. The screen is going to go down here for some odd reason. I think he's gonna try and hold off this. Overlord, here we go. Here he comes. Uh, here comes the menacing queen trying to kill this overlord. But hey, let us take a look at what's going on here. Spine crawlers. So this is not gonna be good. I don't think li uh, liquid TLO. Uh, I, I don't really call him that usually. But anyways, I I don't think the little ones actually gonna be able to do anything about the spine crawlers. So that's gonna be a very risky trying to move out there with the pain links and uh, his zerg links. So it is gonna be interesting what is going to happen and why is he moving his queen. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, I'm not actually quite sure what he was doing with the screen, but uh, let's see. So here we go. He is gonna try and engage. Oh no, he did. He, he managed to get a zerling out, but he got hit by the spine. Uh, here we go. He did reinforce with those two zerlings. Here we go. So we are gonna see epic engagement here, but it's not gonna happen here. Uh, we're not actually gonna see anything go on. He is trying to kind of make sure he can actually go through there. And there goes one baneling. That is a waste of baneling. Uh, yeah, so here we go, and that's another waste of banning. Whoa, the manga is being really resourceful here. He is, in fact, just sending one Zerling and another Zerling just to kind of get rid of these baneling numbers here. And he only has two banelings now, and he's, in fact, kind of stopped the sort of uh, baneling thing he did have. Baneling trend, and here we go. We might actually see an explosion here, but the Zerlings did, in fact, block it. Here we go. The is trying to Whoa, he just blew up on those drones. That is not good. And he does have a lot of these spine callers, so he is in fact going to be able to hold this off. And we're, we're, we're yeah, it looks like we're going to see mass um, queens here. And the uh, expo is done, by the way. And he is not going to secure the second gas, although he think he should secure it, I guess. And there is uh, these overlords here, so he will be able to see what's going on. And with three queens, 
from the manga and we're seeing another one is that right uh, production tab tells me there's another queen coming up but uh, I don't see it it's very interesting yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on here we go so it might be an engagement no we're not actually an engagement he's just gonna check out what's going on there but uh, nothing is going on so that is very disappointing uh, yes, yeah, so we are seeing. Oh, we're seeing Lair Tech already. So we're seeing very fast Lair Tech from uh, the little one here, and he's gonna say ex secure the second gas here uh, because the Air Tech requires you to have two gas because otherwise you won't be able to support any of the units coming out of there. And he's gonna get uh, level one ground attacks, melee attacks, missile attacks actually, and uh, the level one carapace for Zerg, Zerg carapace. Yes, there we go, ground carapace. And uh, this overlord is just, you know, hey man, what's up? That's what he's saying to all these guys because he can't uh, be touched by anyone on one of those guys. So you, we are going to see Infest. Oh, he's just teching up. I think uh, he is kind of trying to tech up here right to Hive tech. But uh, yes, yeah, so we are seeing two gas from his natural now. And we're going to see a Roach Warren come down. So we are going to see Roach's Roach action here. So this is going to be interesting. And it's a very nice placement of Creep Tumor. I really like this placement. Uh, because then instead of wasting creep tumors going down here, you can just put one up here and also get some uh, creep over here as well. So you can make it so it goes down your expel. I can hear a queen. Ah, here we go. It is uh, uh, overseer here. But he isn't going to, in fact, get sniped. Oh no, he's not going to actually get sniped. But he will be able to see what's going on here. That's going to be interesting. And he might get. No, he's not going to get enraged. Oh, he didn't get enraged. And he might actually lose it. Oh, he's going to lose it. Uh, although it's not really going to make a much of a difference because as you can see he does have quite a lot whoa 2 HP 3 HP that is just that's uh that's ooh that's just not good and uh, one thing I must say though in Zerg versus Zerg um creep isn't something that really you know it's not something that helps you that much uh wow what how immature of him uh so here you go so like I said well like I was saying uh, the creep helps both Zerg players, so it is not incredibly helpful for um, for yourself. I'm just pointing that out, but that does that shouldn't stop you from making creep because it does help a lot still. Like for Hydras, for example, they're very good in creep, and I just thought I'd just point that out. So we are seeing infestors actually. So he did get that infestation pit for infestors. I thought he's just gonna go for hive straight away, but instead he is gonna go for infestors. And woo, we're seeing pathogen glands, which actually I don't know what that is to be honest. Uh, I think oh yeah, pathogen glands is that the infestors can start off with some energy, I believe. And uh, he is gonna get groove spine for his hydras. Where are you? There we are. And he has four queens just grouped up here. And he does have one queen over here, just to larvae things. And he does have one, he really has four, so that's quite interesting. So he will have some um, pretty large amount of queens that's just moving out when he does move out. And whoa, this is a lot of spine crawlers, uh, I must say. And he's gonna put them down here. Uh, this is uh, quite nice positioning, and this spine crawler is stuck. But, anyways, uh, we just infestors are done. And here we go, here's one infestor, here's some more infestors down here. We got like five infestors here, and he's gonna move out a little bit, and whoa, he's also gonna burrow his spine crawlers, this is just amazing. But uh, remember though, uh, the manga does have the advantage, because he, he also gets the, uh, it's the uh, what's it called, the uh, high yield, also blocked basically, so it is quite interesting, this is gonna be very interesting. Uh, the little one using infestors, I think because he was inspired by his mass ravens he did in the uh, free-for-all with Huck and all sorts of other people. Uh, Liquid Jinro and Liquid Tyler and you know all those people were there and yeah it was pretty awesome actually I watched that. If you guys didn't then go watch it. It was awesome and here whoa, we have a lot of roaches here. Majority roaches, a few hydras and uh, three queens here trying to just kill the others there I suppose there's not really much of a um there's not really much I can say about that but anyway so here we go what was oh we just saw fungal growth here this is quite interesting here uh, you don't really see fungal growth isn't really that effective on roaches uh due to the fact that they are pretty robust and does take quite a lot of fungal growth as you can see uh the little one is in fact trying to fungal growth a lot and he didn't find get one or two 
And here we go. So he should actually fung a ghost again. And he's gonna fung Oh, there we go. He fung a ghost again. That is too bad for him. I think he actually lost him. Here we go. So here comes uh, the manga here. Whoa, we're seeing a nice worm. I didn't even notice. Where's this nice worm? Here it is. There's one. And there's one nice worm. And oh, we have so much fung growth here. And there's so many spine crawlers at the moment. And they're just hitting everything and we're seeing some queen transfusion here but i don't think it's really helping that much but uh here's the manga trying to move in desperately to try and kind of get as many units shooting at the spine crawlers but it doesn't look too good for the little one here he yeah, looks like he lost here it looks like a gg for the little one he went for some weirdo mass uh infester build and it's quite interesting so here we go gg and the manga wins the game so if uh little one did not in fact go for that Mass Infester then probably would have been a little more successful. But uh, yes, so I think you should have used Infested Terran a little bit more because they are very helpful in the mass. They're kind of like the turrets. So they're less powerful, but uh, they're still kind of like the equivalent of it. And um, yes, so that was actually a pretty good game. And it was, I think, TLO's uh, rare times where he plays a Zerg. Uh, nowadays because I usually see him as Terran. I only see him as Zerg. Although I've seen him as Zerg playing Zerg a little bit more often, but still uh, not, It doesn't really count. But anyway, so here we go. So that is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this cast uh, And I'll see you guys next time